Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I recently went to Ulta and unbeknownst to me, they were having a huge sale. So I picked up a lot of stuff while I was in there, but I spent I picked up a lot of stuff, but I only spent $178. Jesus Christ. Something told me not to say that number out loud. Is it $200? It's $200. Oh, $55 was cologne. So there's that. Um... So if that's the case, then I only spent $120, which wasn't $123, which was not bad at all for all the stuff I got. Um, so let's get right into the haul. Um, I got, oh, this is a gift. I'm not, I'm gonna show you guys that at the end. So that's gotta be a gift. This gotta be a gift too, cause I didn't get this. I guess once you get certain things, you get a free gift. Cause, um, yeah, I see it down at the bottom. Cause, um, I um get them two things. I'll just hold up. Okay, so the first thing I got on purpose was these. Um, these are face and body mini wipes from Sweet and Shimmer, and I picked them up. They were right by the um by the desk by where you check out, and um I picked them up because the sign said ninety seven cents, but when the lady rung them up, it was actually forty seven cents, and it had actually been marked down again. So um I was glad I had picked these up, and um I never seen these before, and they didn't have none open there, so. You guys are gonna see what they smell like with me. Face and body wipes. I'm just gonna wipe my hands a little. They smell like 47 cents. Um, I mean, for the price and 15 come in the pack, you can't really beat that. That's that's good. That's a good price. I mean, I couldn't even get this at the dollar store it's just the smell they i would have rather them been unscented but they have vanilla bean uh peppermint or something like that because this is these are christmas wipes these are christmas themed wipes and they were supposed to be stocking stuffers um yeah i don't know it says warning not to be eaten if you want to eat these something wrong with you because it smells like plastic, but moving right along. Next thing I got that was on sale, um, was it four ninety seven? Was it four ninety seven? It was four ninety seven. Um, this is the Ulta Beauty Glistening Snow Body Wash, and I just got it because it was on sale and it was by the register. It's five dollars, and it smelled pretty good. Mm-hmm. That smells so good. Um, it says body wash, body cleanser with essential conditioners, leaves skin clean, fresh, energized. Leaves skin clean, fresh, and energized. Shea butter helps hydrate and condition skin. Aloe helps soothe skin. Vitamins A, C, and E help nurture skin. So I hope this works out in my favor because I normally get like bath and body work. So this will be the first time I got something from Ulta and used it on my body. Um, the next thing I got was, um, these were also 47 cents. I got a um, three pack of nail files, which 47 cents for three of these and the retail originally was $2.99. That's pretty good. And you can't, you can never have too many nail files. Um, so there was another one that was right by the kiosk um the kiosk i keep saying the kiosk it was right by the desk where you could check out um i got this the body shop um coconut hand cream and lip butter and um was this 10 dollars 
it says ten dollars, but a lot of stuff was um marked down. It was not ten dollars because I don't see it on here unless she scanned it less. Uh, I said the body shop. I don't even see it on here. Did she get it to me for free? Um, yeah, I don't see it. I see one thing on here for ten dollars, and then it was it went down to eight. This was five dollars. I'm going back to get the other two. They had this strawberry and peach i'm going back to get the other two if they still have the other two there i'm going back to get the other two this was five dollars it was on sale it was 4.97 um i never used this before but the body shop has like really moisturizing stuff and it's supposed to be good for you so slide it out like that and it says the body shop coconut hand cream with cold pressed virgin coconut oil from Samoa Polynesia and it looks like this let's see let's see if it's really what it says it is I, I want to feel like this is like this is the first time I've ever felt coconut oil from um, Polynesia so let's see. I ain't gonna put too much this is something I could keep in my purse because my hands are always dry. Mmm. This smell, this smells so damn good. Mmm. -hmm. All right, buddy, shop. Your butt is my party. Yes. Okay. So, um,. This is the lip butter that was in there. I can't believe that was that was five dollars. I really can't. I didn't even notice that. I was like, you know what? I got a lot of stuff for one hundred and twenty dollars. That wasn't bad. Not even realizing if you got everything so cheap. If you got everything so cheap, that means everything was on sale, girl. So this is the lip butter. Hmm. Mm. It goes on very velvety, but it seems like it's just some pressed coconut oil. But um, I'll keep this in my purse. I like lip stuff. I like to keep my lips soft. So um, I'm not putting it back in here. This is going to the recycling. I, if you guys know me, well, you guys are going to have to get to know me. I recycle. Like, I'm a recycling advocate like you have to recycle in the, in this house we will be recycling so this will go to the recycling see it's recyclable um i got this anastasia uh dip bra pomade and i got it in the color ebony now um you guys know i i do my brows with uh my next micro brow precision pencil in oh excuse me in the color ebony ebony i get it in the, in the color espresso and that's all i use like i trace the top i trace the bottom i fill the middle part in i clean it up at the bottom with concealer that's like the easiest thing for me so um the only reason i got this and this is what it looks like you guys sassy um, the only reason I got this t was to try it because um, I've always wanted to try it. I see everybody pretty much, for the most part, before Crayon Case came out, everybody did their brows or um, Instagram brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. So I wanted to see if it was worth the hype. And Ulta actually had a sale um, going you could get two brow products from Anastasia Beverly Hills for $30. And that's a steal because this brow pomade by itself is normally $22. And that's an arm and a leg for me. That's um, two of my brushes. That's two of my um, my eyebrow pencils. I'm sorry. So, um, I got the dip brow pomade. It's regularly $18. I got it for $15. So, I say $3. I mean, that's that's something and then i got the 
the brush that comes with it which is um this brush let me take it out of the pack so you guys can see the the it's a dual ended angled brush or uh a seven anastasia 7b brush and um it comes with a spoolie on one end and um the other end is this brush and this is a very precise brush um so i mean in one of my tutorials i'm gonna have to show you guys how um how it works out because i'm i'm not used to using pomades i'm I mean, I know I can draw my brows on because I draw my brows on. I can't put this back on and this is bothering me because I just took it off of this. Oh, I put it on wrong. I think I put it on. Nope. Is that? I'm not going to put it back on because I don't know how to put it back on. So this will go to the recycling too. But um, I'll slide this back in here until I get ready to use it. Is it not going back in here either? Oh, I see it. I'm putting it. I'm not putting it in the right part. Um, yeah, I'm not used to drawing on my brows. I mean, I know I can draw my brows because I use a pencil and I have used, um, I used a brow gel in the past to draw on my brows. It's just the pencil is more convenient for me. So that's what I've been using. But I'll definitely show you guys in another video how the pomade works out for my eyebrows just so you guys can see um i got this this is the nyx um dewy finish long lasting setting spray um and i got this because it was on sale it's normally nine dollars i got it on sale for seven um yep um now you guys know I like I swear by these like this is my jam right here the lip exfoliator um they didn't have brown sugar which was a disappointment to me because out of mint maniac and brown sugar that's my favorite brown sugar is my favorite so um this was a little misleading because this is exactly what the brown sugar one looks like but what you basically do is um on clean and damp lips you take the exfoliator and you rub it all over your lips and then you're supposed to take a cotton swab and wipe it off so your lips are like your lips are like smooth from the exfoliant but um i leave it on and i just put my product right on top of it or while i'm um getting ready to do a tutorial i exfoliate my lips i put a clear gloss on and then i do the tutorial but this is um this is in the color clear so um it says lip exfoliator gently exfoliates lips to help remove dry chapped skin infused with vitamin e shea butter avocado grape and jojoba oil to help nourish and protect lips treats and smoothens lips for a condition and revitalized feel so um i love this and i think you guys already know well my mint maniac it's flat because I, I, I scrub kind of hard when I'm putting it on my lips. I can't get it out. What's up with me and opening stuff today? And this is what it looks like outside the package. And then that's it. It smells like the brown sugar one. It's just not as sweet, but this is, this is the one I, this is out of this and mint mania i think i'm gonna like this one more i don't really get the mint feeling recycling um i got these these are the nyx be gone uh, makeup remover wipes and the 20 come in a pack and um i got these because um they were on sale for 249 which a lot of the stuff i picked up i didn't know it was on sale until i got in the store I did see they had um, some NYX stuff and the Anastasia Beverly Hills going on. But I went in there to get some cologne for my husband and um, just started walking each aisle. And they had like little stickers by certain products. And I was like, oh, I need this. I need this. And then I got by the register and it was time to check out. And these, the sign said $2.49. These rung up $1.24. And I was like y'all ain't got no more in the back because um i could use these um just to show 
if they really remove makeup. I have makeup on, but I want to see if they remove makeup. I don't have no makeup on my hands. I'll be right back. I took this purple shimmer, which this is beautiful. I took this and um, put some on my finger just to see if these really are what they say they are. Cause sometimes stuff be on sale and you be like, that's why you was on sale. I'm gonna take one of these. I don't think it has a smell. I think, are these fragrance free? Mm, no, there's fragrance in here. Yeah. They smell good though. No? I didn't really even have to scrub. They, the makeup came off. Um, so I got two packs of those because they had two packs in the thing and I was like, they're two forty nine, I'll get two and that'll be five dollars, but then they rung up a dollar twenty four, so I was like Yay me. Um it says ophthalmologist tested, safe for contact lens wears, thoroughly removes all dirt, oil and makeup, even waterproof mascara for a clean, fresh face. Um yeah, and it's 20 and I got these for a dollar and 24 cents. So that was a steal. I got two packs. That was a steal, honey. Um, what else did I get? I got this um, Sweet and Shimmer Hand Lotion in Marshmallow Mint. Um, free of parabens, uh, fifth lates, gluten, and DEA. I don't remember smelling it in the store, but... When that lady told me that stuff was 47 cents, I was like, oh, we getting this. We getting this. Let's see what it's like. My hands gonna be real soft. That's why it was 47 cents. This smell like, it's mint. It's marshmallow mint, all right. This smell like, I don't even know. This smells like some stuff I used to have to rub my grandma's feet with when I was younger. This, mm-mm. This, no. What other one? This, yes. And I wish this was this size for five dollars, cause with the lip butter, cause this, this need to be ninety-seven cents. This need to be a free gift in everybody's bags till they get rid of them. Um. It's a no for that one. I don't know how I'm going to use that lotion, but it was 47 cents, so I'm going to have to find a way to use it. Um, The next thing I got, I'm trying to see the price of everything, you guys, so I don't tell you the wrong price. Um, The next thing I got was this Tarte Busy Gal Brows um, Tinted Brow Gel, and it came in the box like this. Um... And it was originally $18, then it went down to $10, and I got it for $8. So, it comes in the box, and I got it in medium brown. They had dark brown, but I don't think I'm dark brown. Ooh, this, you see how tiny, this brush is micro, can I get closer? Focus, focus, focus. This brush is micro where's the i'm trying to show you guys how my, small this brush is so can maybe if i put my hand behind this brush is so tiny like on camera it's not even like it's this brush is so small like you guys wouldn't believe it i was not expecting that um I don't know. I don't know. I bought this because I want to try and do um, different brows and not just do the micro brow pencil all the time, even though that's like my go to. It took it off. Um, so, I mean, recycling. That That's the only reason I bought it, um, really, other than it was on sale. And anytime you catch like name brand stuff like this on sale, for me, it's like you have to get it because something that's $18, I'm not finna spend that on my brows. Um, that's just a little bit too much for me. Um, but 
eight dollars that's a steal that's good um i got this this is a nail brush it's a sweet and shimmer nail brush and this was 47 cents regular price was 2.99 um and i'm basically going to use this when i um clean out my kids nails because um yeah it gets in hard to reach places all you got to do is like lather their hands up or lather your hands up with some kind of soap and then just take this and scrub underneath the nail and um you guys need me to take this out the back i mean we all know what a nail brush looks like but for the sake of the video i'll take it out of the pack this is what it looks like and i'll just put it in my hand like this and scrub their nails and get under their nails that's cute 47 cents stocking stuff is by the um by the way you check out okay um oh i'm a platinum member now because I spent $120 on Ulta. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got this. I got the Tart Tardius Pro Lash Adhesive. And I got it in the color Clear. Now, um, I've been using the Dual Lash Glue. But my thing with the Dual Lash Glue, I don't like how it looks when it dries. Like... Um, I don't know if you guys can really see it on here and I may just be nitpicking, but it just looks a little bit messy when it dries. And then I feel like it takes forever to dry. Like sometimes I do my eyeshadow and then I put the lash adhesive on my lashes and I put mascara on my top and my bottom lashes and the lash glue still isn't dry. And you don't want it all the way dry when you're doing lashes. You want it to be kind of tacky. But at the same time, you don't want to have to wait forever and a day before the lash glue dries so or gets tacky so you can put it on. And you don't want to put it on while it's too wet because then the lash tends to slide and it may lift up while it's drying. And the part that lifts up will dry separately from the part that's supposed to stick to your eye. So um, I followed her name, Shosho, Shosho Anna on um, Instagram and she she has clients and she put she was using the ardell is it ardell dual lash glue i don't know if it's ardell or not but she was using the dual lash glue and um she went to using this and she said this works so much better it drives so much faster and she just likes this more and it it looks like this so i'll have to brush it on versus squeezing it out of the um because i use the blue um dual lash glue so i look forward to using this i look forward to using all these products and letting you guys know how it works if it works in my favor or if it works against me but i either way i look forward to letting you guys know so um i picked up these like you need these these are like if not the best one of the best lip toppers in the cosmetics industry and it's only two dollars like you can't beat that um granted it's probably just um glycerin to me it's not sticky and that's very important with a lip gloss you you don't want it to feel clumpy on your lips and um i appreciate elf for coming out with this this is like one of my favorite products to use and um i love this is their this is their elf lip lacquer if y'all ain't already know and clear and i just i love this like this is this with that lip exfoliator like you can't go wrong you can wear that by itself you don't even need to put anything on top of your lips but um i got that i would have got more of those because i meant to stock up on that when i went to ulta but they literally only had one of these left so i got this one and that was it I'll have to go back and see if they have more. But you need to buy like five of them at one time. Because you, if you're like me, you're going to use them all the time. Like I hate for my lips to feel dry and chappy and peely. I hate that. So, um, yeah, I got, what else did I get? Ooh, the bag getting skimpy. I got um this NYX Worth the Hype mascara it's volumizing and lengthening mascara it's in the color black 
And um, I got this because it was on sale for $7. Is it on sale? Yes, it was on sale for $7. Um, I just want to try different stuff, you guys. I don't want to have to... Every time I do my makeup, I use the same thing. I like to switch it up. I like to change it up. I like to give you guys different looks with different products. So I bought this and hopefully it is worth the hype and um i'm gonna do a look with this mascara this wand is everything look at the definition um i'm gonna see if it's worth the hype and i'm gonna do a look without lashes with just this so i can see if it lives up to the name or if that's why it was on sale because it's not worth the hype um i got this this is the NYX Lingerie Shimmer Lip Gloss in Clear. Um, I guess it's just like a lip topper or you can wear it by itself. I'm, excuse me, probably going to wear it like a lip topper. It's very sparkly. Very, very sparkly. Um, that's what the wand looks like. Um, oh, child. Mm -hmm. That's a swatch of it, you guys. That is, look at the sparkle. Come on, girl. I love that. And it's not sticky. It's not sticky at all. Oh, wow. It's, it has a fragrance to it, too, but it smells good. It's a good fragrance. Um, I got this this was on sale but i think this was seven dollars if i'm not mistaken which is good because i think normally these are like eight dollars or like 7.99 um i also got this um lid lingerie i didn't even know that's what i got um this is lid lingerie and i just realized this isn't a lipstick um which is what i thought that's what it was but it was a dollar 74 um and it's in the color a line but honestly i'm probably gonna end up using this like a lipstick because i don't use why would i use a cream product i don't use cream eyeshadows and I'm not finna use this like an eyeshadow. I picked it up under the concept, under the assumption that it was a lipstick, and I'm finna use it like a lipstick. Period. So, um, let me open it. I don't know how to, I didn't catch that. I'm just uh, jolly, jolly, and and chipper, and picking stuff up, and the lady just ringing stuff up, and it didn't come up to what I thought it was gonna come up to, and. I picked up lid lingerie. I thought I was picking up the lip lingerie. I picked up one lip lingerie, but I, this is lid lingerie. So, this is what the wand looks like. Very similar to the other one. Oh, yes. It's velvety smooth. Yeah, I'm going to use this like a, a lipstick. Sorry. Yeah, this, these are that's the color you guys that's so sexy it's like a nice chocolate and if it's gonna dry matte I'm gonna leave it on my hand and see if it dries matte that's gonna be even sexier it's gonna look like like I, I there's no name for it but um I got another lip topper I got NYX um lingerie lip and glitter lip and spirit and that's what it looks like this is so when i saw this in the store this was so pretty to me and um uh, this was um seven dollars and this is the one It's so pretty. And that's the swatch. 
and I'm I'm not sure if I use this as a lip topper or um by itself, but either way, it's really pretty. That's the matte one. That's the lid lingerie I used, and this is the um the NYX lingerie glitter and spirit. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? Last but not least, as far as what I bought, I got these two um, NYX Precision Brow Pencils. And these are like the Micro Brow Pencil, um, except instead of being $10, these were on sale for $7. Yes. Yes. So um, I saved $3 on both of these. Um, $3 a piece on both of these. Um... Let me see. I've never used it, but I used the micro brow pencil and I got it in the color espresso because, I mean, the colors have to be simultaneous because they're all from the same line, I would assume at least. When I swatched this one in the store and I swatched, um, that came off very easy. Why didn't it all come off like that? And I swatched, um, when I swatched this one in the store and I swatched, um the one I normally use in the store they look the same so this side has a spoolie and this side is the pencil and to me it looks like you get a lot of product I'm not gonna screw it all the way out because if it falls out then I don't have a pencil and y'all gonna laugh and I'm gonna be crying and then what are we gonna do so um yeah that's pretty much the end of everything i bought this must have been because i spent so much money or it was included on something i don't know but um this was in the bag this is a sculpting face brush and um this is from elf it says the contoured and curved shape of this brush hugs the face to expertly sculpt and blend products contour cheekbones define the nose and help minimize the jawline. I deal with foundation, but also works with a variety of formulas, including powders, liquids, and creams. Ultra fine synthetic fibers are hand cut, shaped, and assembled by artisans for expert craftsmanship. So, um, this is what the brush looks like. And I'll probably use this to contour. This will probably be my new contour brush because it looks like that'll be perfect. And it looks it looks very sleek it looks cute it was probably like three dollars but it was a free gift it was in my bag um i'm guessing because i bought something that was simultaneous with in the ready set radiant skin mist that shape well i wonder what this is like the cucumbers and and fancy stuff i like that that is good all right tart but um yeah guys that's the end of my video um if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe um make sure to leave a thumbs up um also subscribe to my channel hit the bell to be notified when i make another video um what else i'm giving a giveaway once i get to 100 subscribers so you guys want to be a part of that um like comment subscribe Follow me on all social media platforms at Shiley1990. Also on Instagram, I have a makeup page solely dedicated to makeup. That's Shiley1990 Makeup. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys for watching. This has been another haul by Shiley1990. See you guys in the next video.